Hello, hi, I am Bishop Briggs. I am here with Vogue and I'm just pretending that's a normal thing, a normal day in my life. Today I am going to be doing a little makeup look. I think the name for this is the running into your ex makeup tutorial. I feel like when you have the sense that you're going to run into an ex, it's like you wanna be feeling your best and you also wanna look like you haven't done anything, that is the look for today. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna start with are things that I found uh, while shopping in Little Tokyo. Now I'm going to put on um, these little eye thingies that I found. Um, that's not the actual name of them, but it really should be. And I don't know why, but I think people look so cute in these. I use these far too often, but I just tap it in and I keep it on for about a minute. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put a face mask. I mean, this just tells you everything you need to know about like the things I'm drawn to. This, this very much excites me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Stop right now. Oh my gosh, wow. I look so good. See, this is the confidence I need before running into an ex. So I kind of put it into my head a little bit. I did grow up in Japan. You know, I was a little lone wolf. Oh my God, I can't take myself seriously. Look at the smile. This is the, this is the vibe. I think I'm gonna take it off now. And then I like to just put it into my skin, just rub it in. And also starting your day off with Hello Kitty is never a bad way to start your day. Okay. I am going to put on sunscreen. This sunscreen has been a little lifesaver for me. I really just put it all over my face. I kind of use this to prime my skin in a way. Sunscreen should be going before everything. And I think my best tip if you do shave your head or are thinking about it is to really put on sunscreen. Oh my gosh. So I shaved my head because my friend, uh, her name is Arax, she got diagnosed with breast cancer and so she had to shave her head. And so I wanted to show my support. The minute I shaved it, it kind of felt like um, the person that I've always been in the inside. The upkeep, it's like every two weeks, um, I would say, to have like clean, fresh shaved head. I use the CC cream, generally probably the lightest shade. The slogan for this stuff is your skin but better. And I will say, I do feel that it accomplishes that. Next, I'm gonna use a foundation and I'm gonna go over what I just did. When you have the sense that you're going to run into an ex, you kind of make it look like, oh my gosh, what? No, I actually just woke up. I actually don't even, yeah, it's crazy. I don't even wear makeup anymore. Remember you saw all my makeup on the ground when we were together? Yeah, that's just not me anymore. <laughs> this has happened to me all the time. We have the same grocery store we go to. So that's kind of a uh, nerve wracking place. So a little goes a long way. What I like to do is I dip the brush in like this. I tap the excess and then I go like that all the way through and then back down again. And then I am just gonna go overboard. Okay, whenever someone texts me that they're pulling up, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm nearly there. And this is exactly what I look like every time. So I'm gonna go under the eyes and this is me just setting the eyes. And again, I did like one dip. Okay, so now I am going to contour my face. I'm gonna go swipe up. And again, if you're like, well, that's a little bit above your cheekbone, that's a bit kind to yourself. Yeah, it is, because that is where I want the cheekbone to be. It's nice to kind of frame your face as if like the sun was hitting you. So um, again, I still have tons of baking happening, but I'm gonna do the tip of my nose to make it look like, um, you know, the people in Whoville. Yeah, that's my goal. 
I'm also just doing underneath my eyes. So now I'm going to blend this all. And I'm gonna dip this into the bronzer and I'm just gonna lightly put it over my nose as if the sun hit it that way. Now I'm going to wipe off any excess powder with that same brush. We're going with blush and I think when you do run into an ex, it's nice to be like, oh my gosh, what? I'm just blushed because I don't know, maybe I did just have sex, even if you didn't and you were just like watching Netflix and like parts of it. Next, I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eye. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with mascara. And I go from the bottom of the lashes and I kind of shake it a little bit. Um, but I think you can never go too much on the lashes. <gasps> This is the most annoying. But I have learned you have to wait till it dries a little bit to take it off. So for now, I'm gonna pretend it's a freckle. So I like to just use a little Q-tip to get this devil away. I'm gonna do the other eye. And now I'm going to use the Glossier uh, Boy Brow in Clear just to brush up my eyebrows. I love highlights so much. I brought three highlights. Um, and if that seems excessive, get out. I'm kidding. You, you don't have to leave. Okay, I'm gonna start with a little pinkish one. Um, this is a splurge product. This is from Dior. And I like this pinky tone for my cheeks um, because it kind of blends well with the blush that I already have on. And then I am going to do a little bit underneath the eyebrow. Okay, so this is Fenty Beauty one. Rihanna! Love that she did this for all of us. And so I'm just gonna go on top. Oh my God. <gasps> so I'm just gonna do the ridge of my nose and I'm gonna go underneath again. I mean, how crazy is this highlight? Oh, it makes me scream! Champagne Pop from Jaclyn Hill. This one is a little bit more gold. Oh my gosh, you know, I honestly, I just get a sense of calm putting on these highlights. And with this one, I actually do the inside corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna quickly go over um, with that same bronzer brush over the highlight a little bit, just to make it blend a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do lips. I like to overline a little bit and put it right here. Just think it makes it look a little bit fuller. And now I'm going to go in with lipstick. Do you guys remember when we had like the baking? Look where we are now. Yay. And then a little trick I do is like that. And the final thing that I do is I add this little sunscreen on the top of my lips. It, just like my head, is the worst place to get sunburnt. Because I am putting a little bit of a shine on, it would be cruel to not put on the Rihanna one, because this one smells so good too. Look, it's all over my teeth. This is also a makeup trip. Now I'm going to spray my face, set it in place, face the day, face the potential X, Okay, I hope your glow keeps on glowing. Look at the glow.
Thank you for watching. Bye.